Okay guys, this is a quick tutorial on getting the unofficial Half-Life Alex SDK mapping tools running. Um, so remember this is totally unofficial, it's not the full version that Valve is going to release, uh, but it is very similar because it's based on the uh, workshop tools from SteamVR from Dota. Um, so to get going, you're going to want to make sure first you have uh, the default install of Half-Life Alex in SteamVR. If you've followed any other tutorial and moved around a bunch of files or done anything like that, um, you're going to want to go into uh, your Steam library and uh, your properties for Half-Life Alex, and you're going to want to verify integrity just to make sure you have the original files and not some other EXEs or anything you dumped in there. And do the same thing for Steam VR because some of the tutorials have you doing stuff with those files as well. Um, once you've done that, you can go ahead and uh, go to the Half-Life Alex SDK repo that I've linked in the video description. Um, you're going to want to download this. You can download the zip file right here. I already have it locally, so I'm just going to go in the folder. Okay, once you're in there, um, so you'll have this exact layout once you extract that zip file. Um, you're going to want to run HL Alex SDK setup batch file. Um, it's going to pop up a little screen like this. Uh, it's going to tell you exactly what to do. Press any key. Okay. Um, so for me, I have my Half Life Alex installed uh, in a separate Steam library, not in my default. It's in my D drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Half Life Alex. Um, so I'm going to want to give the script that exact path, okay? And you can just, an easy way to do this is go into the folder, click here, and it'll give you the path right here. You can even just copy that, and you can paste it right here. Hit enter. Okay, now it's looking for Steam VR. Found that in my default folder. Great. Okay, so now it asks you where you want to actually put the SDK. So this is kind of just like a standalone folder. You can put it anywhere. It doesn't have to be in your Steam library or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to put mine in the root of my D drive. So I'm going to do uh, D um, Half-Life Alex Tutorial SDK. Okay. So now it's basically going through and grabbing all the files it needs from Steam VR environments and from Half-Life Alex. Um, it's basically going to set up the directory layout that it needs to actually run the workshop tools for Half-Life Alex. So it doesn't take very long. Um, Actually, that's it, it's done already. So note that there's gonna be a couple things you have to do to actually get all of the assets from the workshop running, or from Half-Life Alex running. Um, and the first is you have to extract um, the VPK file from Half-Life Alex. So it's gonna tell you where you need to go find that file. Um, so I'm gonna go back. I'm actually almost already there. Um, so in Half-Life Alex game HLVR, I'm looking for paco1dir.vpk. Go ahead and load that up. Um, so this is basically just like a compressed uh, set of assets that Half-Life Alex uh, reads from. Um, and we basically want to extract all of these so that Hammer can load them in. Um, and some of the tutorials do this a different way, um, but this is the most reliable that I found is just straight up extracting all the files so Hammer has access to them. Um, so you're going to want to right click up here, you're going to hit export, so make sure you're clicking on the VPK up here, export, um, make sure you're in game HLVR, okay, in your Half-Life Alex SDK, not, not in the original Alex folder, in your SDK folder, wherever you put that game HLVR, I'm going to select that, I'm not going to do it all right now because it takes a little while, um, I'll cancel it, but if I go into D, Half-Life Alex Tutorial SDK Game HLVR. You can see it started to extract some of those assets. Okay. Um, so the last thing you need to do to get the SDK fully working um, is download the FGD files, and those basically tell Hammer um, what resources or what entities are available from Half-Life Alex to actually use in the editor. Um, so it's crucial that you download these; otherwise, you're not going to have access to any of the Half-Life Alex resources. Um, so there's another link for that right here. Copy that. Um, same thing, you're just going to download this as a zip file. 
open that. So you're gonna have uh, these FTD files. You don't need the what readme. Um, so these also go in that same folder. Half-Life Alex, wherever your SDK is, game, HLVR. You wanna drop these right into here. So I'm drag and drop these in. Um, you're gonna replace your game info file. That's fine, okay. Um, so at this point, now all we have to do is go back to the root SDK, wherever you put your SDK folder. So it tells you right here at the end, run, launch, Half-Life, Alex, bat, in, and it tells you exactly where it is. So I'm gonna run that. So you get a little splash screen here. It's got the workshop tool splash screen. The first time you run this, when, once you've extracted all the assets, that's gonna take a while, okay? Um, because it's loading like 40 or 50,000 plus assets and it caches them all. Um, so the first time you run that, just let it let it load all those assets in, okay? And then you're, you'll see here immediately that all the Half-Life Alex assets will be available to you. Um, I did, did not extract everything, so there obviously is far less um, assets available. Um, so now what I wanna do is go into Hammer, which I can do right here. And um, I can start a new map, okay. And you'll see if I click on the entity tool and go down to say NPCs, I have all the NPCs, not all of them, but all the ones that are exist in the FTD file so far. Um, so if I wanted to throw down a zombie in my level, I can pick NPC for zombie and throw that out. Now, obviously, I don't have the model extracted, so I'm getting this error model right now. That's fine, though. If I load this in Half-Life Alex, oh, okay. it will actually show the zombie. Um, so I'll also throw down the, the my spawn. So my and I will throw down a uh, light just to get sort of the bare minimum here to get uh, basically a level that I'll actually render in Half-Life Alex. Um, so now I can save this. Um, so when you save your map for the first time, it will automatically put it in the in the right directory for the SDK, which is gonna be the content folder in your SDK directory. So don't change this. I recommend just leaving it. My new Alex map. I'm gonna save this. Now I'm gonna build it. And you can have it load in the engine, which is basically gonna load it in this window right here um, but just know this is not like the full Alex engine in VR or anything like that so it's not going to perform like it will when you actually load it in Half-Life Alex so I'm not even going to do this for now um, but it is good for like debugging some things in your map and looking how they will actually sort of uh, look so I'm going to build this map and don't worry about the errors at the top here. Um, those are just models that are missing from uh, Steam VR tools. Um, it'll, it's totally fine. You'll see it every time, but it'll, it'll build a compile just fine. Um, so here you can see where it stuck the map. So uh, in my SDK game, HLR, HLVR maps, my new Alex map. So now if I wanna play this map in Half-Life Alex, which you can do, um, I'm gonna go to that directory, all right, game, HLVR maps right here is my map you can see it's a VPK file so I'm going to go to my actual Half-Life Alex install HLVR maps same same directory layout as the SDK right and now you see all the official maps that are actually part of Half-Life yeah. Alex so I'm just going to drag and drop my map in there I'm going to shut the editor down because you cannot run uh, Half-Life Alex while that is running. And I will launch Half-Life Alex. You just kind of got to wait till this screen passes. Once you see this, you can hit the tilde key to open the console. You can type map, um, my cool map. I think is what I called it, right? 
if your headset is uh, on the ground when you load a map, it'll load really weird. So you gotta make sure your headset is like in your hand. I think that's the wrong map. My new Alex map. Let's load that one. There you go. There's your zombie. And this is in Half-Life Alex. So if I actually turn on my controllers here. And you notice the zombie's not walking around because there's no nav mesh set up on this map. So, But that does work now. So you will be able to have actual NPCs walking around your map. And there we go. There's my hand. So this is it. That's pretty much it. Um, whoops. There we go. Yep, that's it. So uh, give it a shot. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, whatever. Thank you. Bye.